So you want to hang a photo mural. And you got the guts, you got the courage, you looked it up, you don't want to hire somebody, you decided to do it yourself. Well, I'm all for it. Let me share some of the things I've learned with you in order to help you accomplish that. As Leah from CJ and Drill says, you can do this. Okay, folks, let's go over some mechanics, okay? What you're looking at is panel number one, and panel number two of Komar's photo mural. Nice product, but I'm going to talk to you about the disadvantages of this product, okay? Let's just show them the table over there. That's where I glued my panels, number one and two. Okay, not much booking. This stuff is very, very thin. If you go into your office and you take out a sheet of paper from your printer, I'm telling you right now, it's about the same cheap thickness. Try to hang, you know what to do? Take a sheet of paper from your computer, wet it with glue, and try to stick it to the wall. Take it off, put it back on. If it starts tearing on you, don't take this upon yourself until you can glue that thin sheet of paper to your wall without tearing it. Because I'm telling you right now, this material is so thin, you only have a certain amount of time to work with it, okay? It doesn't mean you can't do it. It means you have to know what you're getting into after you glue it. You only have, I'm going to say, 10 minutes after this has absorbed the glue to getting it in place. That's not a lot of time if you've never done it before. So let me show you how to get these things in place. Very simple. These things are hung at right angles. What does that mean? Basically looking at a big square mural, right? And so we make a square on the wall. Let's go over to our laser. Yeah. Now you'll see to the left of our mural, you see this red laser line. Maybe you don't see it because there's too much light in there, but I'll just tell you, right on the edge of this is a laser line. And in the center of our mural, which is panel one and two, we have another line. And that is the right angle square angle from this. And we have to stay on the laser because if we don't, our mural will go out of square. If you can do that, you can hang this. You don't need a laser level. Let's just show them the laser level. This is a Bosch GLL 220. Okay. And I just want to show you that this is on a tripod that has a uh, level here. You see that level? Show them the bubble. And you gotta make sure that your laser is level in order that you get straight plumb and, and horizontal level lines. Now, you're gonna measure your wall. Where do you want this thing? Very simple, measure the total length of the mural. Let's say it's 12 feet. Half of that is six. You want to go to your center and make a central line. This is our central line. And so we're going to measure the wall like this. Half of the mural goes this way and half of it goes this way. After you do that, you're almost done. All you got to do is hang it correctly. Let's show you how we go about gluing the third piece. Let's take them over. I never really do this, but I, I, I don't show them my, my glue. It's a little boring. I want to show them how these panels are made, how they're how they designed to be identified. So, this is panel number three. 
And you could never get it wrong, because look, do they see this? I know it's light, but can, they, can you read that through the camera? Yeah. You see, this is, this is where three goes and four. They don't want you doing this. One, two, three, four, five, six, because then you blew it. So you know that three is the next one up. Now, let's go over to the table. If you're hanging one of these for the first time, folks, especially if you're a new pro at it, I have a suggestion. If your pattern doesn't clearly identify what's up or down, you might have a pattern that's abstract. There's no person in it, there's no tree, no bird, nothing. Call the client and say, show me how you want this, what's up or down. I hung roses for a fellow, and all of my friends on Instagram, the professional paper hangers said, hey, it's upside down. You know what? It's not upside down. It's exactly the way the customer wanted it. Because roses do not stand eight feet up. It was an eight foot wall. It was a mural of roses. He wanted them hanging. So we turned it upside down. And so the roses were hanging like outside of a, uh, a window. They don't stand their feet, it's true. So he wanted them, what essentially was upside down. And you know how, ro you know how flowers hang? Here's the stem, they just, that's how he wanted it. If you don't call your customer, you will wind up replacing the mural at your expense and you won't get paid. So, if you have a customer who likes to leave you at home, which is fine, and then they go out, you need to make sure that you know what's up or down. I only go through this because it has happened to me, okay? And, you know, people just have to let you know what they want. That's all. I have it in my contract that I'm not responsible for determining hard to figure out patterns, what's up or down. So, because once you have an issue, you make sure that you no longer have an issue, right? I will tell you this, to a bucket of uh, wallpaper paste, this is common wallpaper paste from Romans, I added 25% water for this particular installation. You do not want factory viscosity glue. You want to add water. Everybody who hangs knows why. The glue that comes in the bucket is great. It's too thick for this. If you're hanging this wall covering with uh, factory thick glue, stop. Make sure you water it down sufficiently so that you can move the mural. If it's too thick, when you do this, it's gonna rip, okay? 25% water. So now, we know that this is super thin paper. We don't wanna let it book too long. It's already glued for two minutes. Let's get to it. Was that two minutes? I hope so. Now, do we need the laser level anymore? Not really, because we have a template of a right angle at the edge of our first panel. If we hung it right, that's our plumb line right there, right? But you know what? Let's move it over. Let's move it over. We don't need to, but we will. Now I'm setting it up. Okay, there's our laser line. You can see it's perfect, and that's great. I just wanna show you that you don't need it. <coughs> and even if you do need it, folks, forget it. If you're a little off, just leave it. Okay, don't take that off after you put it on. If you're a little off, but if you're a little off mentally, I can't help you. But if you're a little off with the laser level, they say if you're half a bubble off, you know, but that has become synonymous with being crazy. I'm only joking. I'm just joking. Don't mind me. 
Okay, folks. Very good, thank you. Very good, I'll get that. I... Just keep the camera on the photo mural. I understand your point. I got it, man. Okay, folks, come on my left, please, cameraman. My cameraman will not be identified because he's wanted. Just kidding. Okay, so this is a beautiful video that somebody will find wrong fault with. <laughs> That's all right. I don't mind that at all. I really don't. I love when professionals tell me what they do because let me tell you something, all you pros out there, I learn every time you guys make a comment, every single time. Okay, so we're having an issue. We're having an issue. We're having an issue matching it up. But we're gonna... What I love about hanging paper is resolving the issues that come up. Okay? And, and realizing what it took. I want them to see this. So you see that we're an eighth of an inch off. That's big when you're dealing with lines, right? Not a big deal when you're dealing with something like a Monet or a Manet. Look it up, M-O-N-E-T, M-A-N-E-T. That's right, I took art. Okay, so <clears throat> we're good there. But are we good up here? Just 20 inches up, we're not good, look. We're good here, what happened? What happened? The answer is, I don't know what happened, that's the answer. But as a paper hanger, we're gonna do the best we can to combat the discrepancy. Bring them into the action. My customer today allowed me to bring my dog to the job. What a very nice thing to do. Wasn't that nice? Okay, folks. <clears throat> now, please. Do not. Do not. Take a dry hand against dry photo mural and try to move this over. You'll rip it. Please don't do that. Easy with this. Okay, your hand is too strong to do that. Okay, nice and easy. We're good here. We're not good here. We got a lot of... A lot of little issues, and the way you, what you're doing is displacing glue when you do this. What you're doing is, you know, when somebody's fat and their gut hangs out to here, what happens? The end of the shirt comes up, right? Right or wrong? Same thing here. If your lines are not meeting up, the only remedy is two things. Number one, make sure it's square with panel number one. Square meaning that the lines, the overlap line is parallel, right? What does parallel mean? Two lines that never meet. Because if it's like this, that's the problem. But I'll give you this, it's parallel. Meaning that the edge of this page paper is parallel with the edge of the other. The other problem is that you got too much glue underneath the lines. Now I'm slim and trim. So my gut isn't hanging out. But let's say that it did. Watch, watch my shirt. I'm serious. You see the shirt comes up, right? If you have too much glue under the mural, the lines aren't gonna meet, okay? So what do you do? You get the glue out, like this. You hold it at a 15 degree angle. And look what you come up with. That's the fat gut 
that you're removing. And guess what starts happening? Look at your lines. Come close. Come close. Your lines start to meet better because you're displacing the fat under the wall covering. Don't blame me for this, folks. Okay, very good. So, I think we did good explaining that. Now, I recently got turned on to a, a very entertaining painter named Bob Ross. And I really like the guy. I'm sorry that he's gone, you know? He's so talented. I love watching artists. I mean, it's just truly amazing. So he's on YouTube and he makes paintings and he talks while he does it. And he says things like, we're gonna put a happy little tree in there. And so I think it's pretty funny. So recently, <coughs> recently I got an email from a viewer in the UK. <laughs> Come in close. Come in close. I gotta tell the story. <laughs> and you know what he told me? He said, essentially, he said, stop giving away the trade secrets. He said, you know, you could wind up dead. He didn't use the word dead, but he said, you know what could happen to you? Nobody will hear from you. Something like that. And um, I just thought it was bizarre. <clears throat> I really did. I thought it was sort of bizarre. Okay, folks. Now, remembering that this product is really flimsy. Before I hung it, I took a scraper, 10 inch scraper, and I got rid of all the burrs on the wall. I scraped up and down on the substrate before I primed it with Roman 999. It's a product in the USA. It's glue and water. That's all it is. It protects the substrate when they want to remove it so the paint and the sheetrock paper doesn't come down with it. It protects it. Now, after I scraped all the burrs off. I then primed it. But if you didn't scrape it, what I'm taking is a metal scraper like this, and I do this, up and down the wall, and all these little flakes come off. But if you didn't do that and you did this, boom, boom, you get a bunch of little chips on the wall covering because this, these things will get hung up on those little burrs, right? Just a little tip for you. Now, let's say you try to do this, you can't do it, and you decide to hire um, this really good wallpaper installer from Florida. Let's just say you called Spencer Colgan, who does go to the UK for a very inexpensive price. He would come and gladly do it for you. Okay. Notice I'm lifting this up, right? Why is that? It reduces the chance that I will damage the wall covering. This could get stuck here. And I'm dragging a bubble, guess what happens? Tear it. Look at all the fat I got out, right? See that? And so, look at our lines now. Don't they meet? So when you say, Oh no, my mural is defective. It's defective, I don't know what happened. Actually, the installation was, right?
Okay, you can see that we've met the line, even though the cameraman is blocking our laser line. That's all right. <clears throat> Tell you what, we'll show you one more panel. We'll do a second video and show you the end result. How's that? Let's take them over. We're going to do panel number one, two, three. We're looking for number four. Let's go get it. Now, a couple of things have happened since I began hanging wall covers. Number one, um, you, you can get enlarged body parts. Uh, my biceps have become enlarged. The doctor said not to worry. And then my other doctor said my ego has become enlarged. But um, he said there's not much he could do for that. So I accept that. I mean, what can you do? You, you know, there's something wrong with all of us. And uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm working in a hotel at night. And um, some very strange things. When people are having a good time, they tend to use little substances that make them laugh and all that stuff. Anyway, I met a fellow last night who said, hey, I'm a painter. I do what you do. I said, great. And um, then he took something that made him a little disoriented. And so he said to me, Let's hook up. I like your work. So uh, his girlfriend said, you're an idiot, he's your competition. <laughs> that was the end of the conversation. Okay, so now there are some very astute watchers on my channel who are thinking right now, he didn't let that book so long. He let the last one book a long time. I know it. She's from the UK and she's very, very critical. Very astute. And I say, yes, you are correct. You are correct. But not to worry, I forget her name, but she's always pointing out my inconsistencies. Okay, so. Now, this is a very good issue that's come up. I made a couple of videos, I had to trash them. I don't know if I said it on this video. Do I put this one on top of this one or this one on top of this one? You're the paper hanger, you decide. As I'm working this out, tell me, what do I do? Come on, what do I do? What I'm going to do is, since this is chest level to the average human being, unless you're in the Amazon, what you're gonna do is put the bottom piece under the top. And the reason being is you don't wanna see the ridge of this. It needs to be under this. Now, I would be embarrassed if I couldn't get this thing up, but that's not happening to my critical viewer in the UK. No problem with that. She can be critical. Okay, now let's just see that we match up. Looks good to me. Show them the line so they know we're not cheating. La -dee -dee. Okay. I think the greatest uh, obstacle to doing something like this is impatience. I'm not talking about the flower. I'm talking about the virtue of patience. Uh, if you don't have it, you might not wanna do it. Or you could have a glass of red wine and then try to tackle it. 
you know that works too. Now here's an issue. This is a real issue. Question for you viewers. Do I put this layer on top of this one? Or this one on top of this one? What would determine that? You tell me. If you want to be really good at what you do, what would determine whether this goes on top of this or this on top of this? It's the point of entry in the room. Where will most people enter the room? If it's from this direction, you want to put this over this. And why is that? Because if you put this one over this one and people are coming this way, they're going to see the edge. You want to cover the edge just like, think of roofing. You want to cover the edge and that's exactly what I'm doing. Show them the edge so they know what I'm talking about. Come over here. No, you want to show them the angle. You want to show them this part. You're blocking all the sunlight. Try to make yourself a small target. You see this edge? If you're coming from this direction, you're going to see that edge. But most people are going to enter this room that I'm in from the other direction. So this is the way you want it. Okay? Guys who lay carpet do the same idea. When you're wiping it down, soft sponge, don't press too hard because you'll take the color off and you might rip it too. Okay, folks, nice and easy. We're gonna, we're gonna nail that, um, how do they say it in the trade? We're gonna lay it down permanently, watch. Now there's an overlap and it, the mural, for those of you who don't like double cutting, it's perfect. You overlap it and you leave it, watch. 15 degree angle, nice and tight. Nice and tight. Look what I get. Glue and perfect line. See that meeting? Can they see that in the camera? See that one? Okay. That's your result. Fit, okay. 15 degree angle on this smoother. You wanna use a brand new smoother? If it has scratches in it, sand them out with sandpaper. You don't want to do this like this. If you come across a burr, you're going to tear your paper. I'm pulling it like this, look. Not like this. See that? See the difference? So if there were a burr, I would simply go over it. Not scrape it up. I want to apologize before we go off air. If this video was unnecessarily long for some, but it's not unnecessary for many, because many don't know all of the details. Okay? So, for those of you who are going to leave a comment it was too long, my comment to you is use the fast forward function on your mouse. so that you don't have to watch it. Now, for those of you who started following me, I'm going to be working out later, showing off my physique. Seven o'clock p.m. live tonight, I'll be lifting uh, 400 pounds on a bench press. And uh, you can enjoy that later on. And so we'll talk later. Thanks for watching my channel. Click on like and subscribe.